Hey, the flux is rustling back at you one more again. I hope everybody's doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. Just thank you for the support. You're sharing my videos. You give me a thumbs up. You're also placing my videos in playlists for you to be able to watch again for later. Just for a little friendly reminder, it's truly a blessing. So thank you for allowing me to be in your life as you are a part of mine. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video. If you're comfortable, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacts your life and heading you towards a positive direction also if you uh feel like the video is being very informative to you or just giving you good vibes that you would love to share with a loved one family or friend or a fellow empath that are going through some trying times please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit once again thank you so much for the love and support it's greatly appreciated and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today let me turn it up a little bit because you really can't hear it. Um, it is called the meditation music I'm listening to is Mindfulness Flute Music for Meditation, Yoga, and Inner Peace. And I will post that link in the description box below. That music is so relaxed and it got me so relaxed. I'm up under my little plush blanket and all this stuff because my legs got cold. Um, my video today is about Twin Flame 101 Hayokas, the truth that you're. Uh, show the truth that you carry in your heart like a hidden treasure because the world would never stop teaching you that's so true it's just like you had to be able to go through life for you to be able to experience the things you're experiencing now yes it's hard <laughs> we all go through it we have a, not everybody every day is going to be you know walking you know walking a pond or whatever you want to call it you know because the world is teaching us all the time you know because it's just like when you have been living in that 3d world for so long and it's just like you're going through a rebirth and you already know what it feels like when you see children being birthed you know when they come out the womb this is like they're doing for the womb i remember you know seeing my my daughters when you know they were born they come sprawling out like this like what the heck you know i was good in my slumber why'd you take me out i mean especially my oldest daughter she was upset like somebody just woke her up out of her sleep like you know she was not a morning person well she just didn't want to come out when she came out but you know it happened but you know going through all these things it allows you to get ready and know your true self you know for you to be able to allow your true self to be shown be living in your authentic suit <laughs> walking on your true path you know don't going through all these different things and i know i said i must be talking getting ready to talk about some stuff Oh Lord, um, just going through certain situations has really taught you something positive. Yeah, it can get aggravating because you keep constantly going through the same thing, same thing over and over again. But like I said before, when you keep going through that rotating door, obviously there is something from the situation that you have not learned. Either, you know, with my situation, it has taught me patience. My situation has taught me faith because it's like growing up, I used to see all the pain and anguish that I, you know, that I've endured. I, I said, I know there ain't no God for me to be going through all this because no child should be able to endure the things that I'm enduring. Because there's a lot of things I've shared with y'all, but there's a lot of things that I've kept to myself. You know, and it is just like the way my story, my situation, my life path has allowed you to look at your situations that you're going through. You learn to process this and it's just like, yes, because there's sometimes, you know, when I look at my situation from the long way, you know, from a different perspective, because I try to look at it at different angles, you know, because there's times I get in my feelings, you know, there's times you get in your feelings about what you go through, you know, people teach you, you know, I when I open up this situation and I see how people love my dad and it's just for me to say, hey, this is dad and just hoping that they would love me the way they love my dad not everybody was like that <laughs> you know what i'm saying so it, i kind of rub people the wrong way so it allowed me to see how people truly worked in life 
because you know I was just hoping they you know they would love me as much as they love them you know him but there are some people that have loved me there are some people who did not love me that way some people didn't believe me and some people did you know I've experienced all these different experiences but they all have taught me something you know um I feel like if it's meant for you to know then it'll come that time for you to know I shouldn't press that out you know it is just allowed me to see you know there is faith there is God you know if it wasn't you wouldn't have been able to do this positive outcome this positive switch if there wasn't a god because there's faith you know a lot of times we don't believe it and it's like you, you'll do that saying see it to believe it there's a lot of times you have to believe it without seeing it anyway because you know there's better yet to come for you you know you have to be able to be in your authentic self being able to face your fears being able to step out that comfort zone being able to you know let go of the things that has been holding you back you know the things that has been hindering you is block blocking your growth as well as your blessings all these situations that you've been placed in has taught you something positive you just have to be able to be that person to see it within yourself you know i only can tell you so much but you know your situation you know the things if you endure it you know the things that you're trying to walk away from you know you can't keep sweeping it under the rug you can't keep ignoring it. You're going to have to face it now. You know, one, you're going to have to face it one day. But it's like, you know, I had to learn the hard way. The more I kept suppressing things, the more I just like, oh, I don't want to think about it right now. When it came back, it's going to be a lot heavier than it was before because, you know, swept up so many different things and put things aside that you didn't want to deal with, that you suppressed. I did that, you know. So it was a lot of things, but it, it was just like, being able to experience that i suppressed so many things as a child you know when my children asked me you know when you when when you didn't have abusive childhood you know my kids was like you know what mom my friends know about the things that going on in their life when they were little they used to tell little stories and stuff like this about how they grow up why don't you do that with us because that stuff is painful i don't talk about that you know and i just really never opened up and told my children about the things that I went through they had to wait until they got older you know it took this tragedy for my dad to pass for me to be able to open up because there's a lot of things I didn't believe you know it's just like my mom was like I don't have the proof I'm telling you who your your family is you know she educated me but she just didn't want to come straight out and say it because she thought I wasn't gonna believe her which I you know was kind of shocking you know because it's just like when I when I had my dad my, my real dad call me i thought somebody was punking me i said this is not funny worth a damn <laughs> i said why does this make why does somebody keep calling me and saying that they're prince and leaving me a message because i would erase it every time and my, you know and then after all that was said and done my adopted father my mom's ex-husband said why don't you call i said now any other time you sit up here and said this man and why my dad now all of a sudden when i say this now you want to flip the script so it's just a lot of things i had to be able to go through a lot of things i had to heal from a lot of things I had to really see for what it was you know the truth was not pretty and my mama told me the truth is not gonna be pretty for what that was you know because she couldn't open up and tell me that because number one my mom was dying number two I was the only living child even though I wasn't her blood child you know my my brother was out doing whatever locked up and my mom you know my sister she had passed away in 91 92 I was the only child she had left so it's like if I tell her the truth she's gonna leave me you know so it was a lot of things that I had to face there's a lot of things I had to see for what it was can't worry about how people talk you know thought of me can't couldn't worry about what people how people were going to respond respond to me how people were going to see me I couldn't allow that to happen because that is fear stepping in you know it's just contradicting myself I'm not going to do that you know this this message is for people that need to get that message out you know so it's just like I had to sit in my truth no matter how painful it was you know I've had people say yeah right or you know I've had people you know if I left a message just like putting it out like I was talking to my dad like on my Facebook page there would be people laughing at me you know because they didn't want to believe that even though it was a hurtful situation because you never want to you know I never wanted to anybody to ever know what that felt like you know my journey is not 
meant for everybody to understand. Yeah, you know, they say that my dad never had children, but I was born way before he got famous. So, of course, you wouldn't know about me, you know, and plus my dad was a very private person. So all these things I had to go through and it's just like I used to cry when I used to get people not believing me. I said, if you I said you this man, you loved his music. You loved what he stood for. You loved how he projected himself because he was very different. He was very unique. He was very rare. Now, just think how it would be for his children. You know, I now I can sit up here and relate to uh, Paris and uh, Paris Jackson, Prince Jackson, Blanket, and all them. I see what they had to endure. But the only difference between me and them is the fact is they were able to be with their father mine I wasn't so that was the most painful situation I could ever go through and never want to wish that on anybody and it's like I, it's hard for me to catch closure because my dad's everywhere people are always projecting out different videos different you know different music different links about him some of them were good some of them were bad so I had to be able to adapt to all this new life that I wasn't even aware of life teaches me every day every day you know, and it's just like I had to look at it like you see that he's loved by all these people. This you can it, it allows you to see all the love that they had for my dad, you know, and that allowed me to heal in my own special way. Even though people didn't get it, people didn't understand, people didn't want to understand. You know, some people thought I was lying or people thought I was bragging. That's not nothing to brag about. But I'm I'm expressing my love just like you would express love about your parents that passed away. It just so happens mine is a celebrity, you know. So it's like I had to go through these situations for me to be able to show people compassion, show people love, showing no matter how hard your trauma has been towards you, you will heal. You will be able to see past all the BS that has been placed upon you to give you that strength to educate you in so many different ways about yourself and about the world. What your place is in purpose of the duty of the world. All these different things you have to explore, you know, no matter how dark and painful it is, you're gonna have to know someday, you're gonna have, that is my, my comfort zone for me hiding myself. I was hidden in plain sight. <laughs> you know, a lot of people don't think that he's my father just because my dad is very fair skinned. You know, my grandfather was like around my tone. It's just like I was looking at pictures today and it's just certain faces I did, you know, and some people that, you know, believe me, they were like, Rosalind, you look like your grandfather, John. It's like even your children, you know, they look like somebody, a part of the family, my baby, you know, she looks just like my dad when, you know, he, around the time he had me. So that really messes me up at certain times when she have her hair a certain way. And, you know, that takes me back. You know, that's like an emotional trigger. You know, my, my daughter will wear an afro. And I'm like, baby, please don't wear Please don't do that. Can, can you go find a different one? It's like, mom, I like it though. But it always reminds me of him. So it was like a painful situation I had to go through. Um, learning all these different things. Educate myself. Knowing that I had this gift. This beautiful gift to be able to help heal the world some kind of way. Do my little part. I've been wanting to do this since I was little. Now I finally see why i had to go through all these things my dad shared love through his music through his art i'm sharing mine through my words you know he even made a song about it you know in seven uh you know an angel came down on me speaking of world of wisdom world of peace or work you know peace of love or whatever you know and uh the, the song seven and i was just like wow you know he already knew what i was going to do before i even did it because this was back in what late 90s yeah late 90s middle 90s or whatever or late you know early 2000s or whatever going through all that stuff so it's like my dad already placed music out for me to listen to that was already speaking on the things that I was going to do later on down the line so going through all these different things you know life teaches you no matter how hard or hurtful it is you know I, I had to learn about how people were how would people project towards me about my situations some of them's been good and not, some of them's been not so good so going through all these things that you're going through is going to educate you but at the end of the day you'll get a positive outcome from it so you know the world is not going to stop teaching you they're going to teach you every single way whether it's positive or negative
because universe doesn't see it as a positive or negative. It just shows you what it needs to show you. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of my video. Much love to Lost Puppy, Gabriel, Avery. Much love to you as well. Like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you resonate with this video. I truly hope you were able to resonate with it anyway. Um, even if you don't, uh, drop me a line. Give me a thumbs up, like, and also share. And I'll see you on my next video. Much love. Peace. Be well.